KGUN 9 on your side first warning weather with meteorologist April Madison. 617, welcome to your very wet Tuesday. Not only did we see quite a bit yesterday, especially towards the south and southwest, but we're still seeing some of those lingering showers this morning as well. In fact, so much at the airport that we ended up with a record rain amount for your Monday, just over an inch of rain. But look at how much it beat the old record. The old record, 7407 inch on July 9th, set back on 1932. Uh, yeah, we didn't just beat it a little bit. We beat it by 25 hundredths of uh, of an inch, a quarter of an inch of rain beat the old record. It'll take quite a lot to beat that again. 73 is what we've rain cooled to. That's just a little below the average. Winds are out of the south, but pretty mild. But you can see by the dew point and humidity, as well as the showers that are kind of hugging the Catalinas there, it is super soaked, super saturated out there as all of this moisture is continuing to get regenerated from the south and kind of moving around in this counterclockwise motion. We're still seeing the majority of the rain across southern areas. Arizona. That's the Tucson metro area as we speak. Still seeing some of these showers pushing through. It could be late morning before we get a complete break and hopefully just enough clearing, just enough sunshine to heat up and bring that on again later this afternoon. Three to four o'clock time frame. We could see heavy rain, maybe some blowing dust once again. Uh, definitely the potential for flooding since we are already so saturated and those strong gusty winds and then could continue to see a little bit of a break and then another round into those overnight time frame like we did this morning at that three to four o'clock time frame on Wednesday, possibly the same thing happening again on Thursday. So definitely don't need to tell you it's going to be a much cooler day with the rain and uh, soaked air. We've got a lot of 80s and 90s across southern Arizona and uh, well below average 93 in Tucson when our average is about 101. So the only thing that could hinder those storms redeveloping later this afternoon is if our sun does not come out long enough. However, we're so saturated. It'll only take a few hours to regenerate those storms. So we hold on to just enough instability and moisture that we really do think we'll see another round. And then after today, we hold on to a 30 to 40% chance really Wednesday into early next week. Big Al.